Well, good afternoon. I haven't done a video in a really long time, and I thought I would share a kiln opening with you since that's what seems to be what most people like to watch on YouTube. <laughs> I'm going to show you what kind of glazes I used. I have a, an L&L &L Easy Fire kiln. I really like this kiln. It's good on my back. I do have other kilns, but this is one of my favorite. Um, I'm going to show you some new glazes and mugs and I'm going to show you how I did them. It's just under 200 degrees, but um, it's also about 102 factor here in South Carolina. And uh, I'll try to pick them out, uh, but after a while I might have to put my gloves back on. Okay, so I have on all of these mugs that I'm going to show you, I started off with two coats of Amico Honey Flux Glaze. There's the number on there. That's PC17. And this is a Flux Glaze. This is their first, and they, now they come out with other colors too. I haven't tried all of those yet. So, two coats of Amico Honey Flux. And then, on this one, on the bottom, you see those little speckles? This is Amico River Birch. This is a new one that they just came out with. This is uh, PCF 74. And I really like this better than the winter wood um, because this is a shiny glaze, whereas um, winter wood is, is more of a matte and I don't really care for that, that feeling. Um, on the top here, I experimented with the new Mako glazes. I'm going to show you. This is the whole kit. Um, and I've done a lot of mini pots with this first to decide which ones I would like before I would commit to larger pieces. Um, on this particular mug, I did rose quartz along the top. I'll show you that one. Rose quartz. And I'm sure that the uh, Honey Flux muted it a bit. I don't know if you can see, it is a, it's a light pink, but it, it is not a girly pink, you know, if you understand what I'm saying. I really like it, like it. Okay, the next one, and I really love this combo. Two coats of the Honey Flux, and then the Mako, the new glazes I showed you that box. Um, up here is find it is ivy. I really like ivy. Ivy is a really pretty color, even by itself. Ivy. So two coats of ivy, and then the um, blue is nimbus, and I pretty much used that one up. So I don't have that in the in the selection of my box. I had to order. I'm ordering more. Um, Nimbus is a is a bluish gray color. I really like that. But I like how when it overlaps, and I don't know if you can see see the striations. It's really really pretty. I like it. I like it a lot. So here's another one of the um, gloss, the uh, the pink, the first one that rose quartz that I did, and this one's a little bit more pink. Sometimes it just depends. Now, um, a lot of people ask me, what do I use to glaze with? I like these fan brushes. These, um, I didn't order these from a potter supply. These are just artist brushes from Hobby Lobby. Um, they're very soft. You can see they kind of dusty but these really hold the glaze and apply very, very well. And so when I apply my glazes, the first coat goes on one way and then the second coat goes on in a different direction. That way you get a better coverage. So those are, those are two. Now, this one, this is an interesting combo. I did a test glaze um, in my test kiln and I, I know the colors aren't coming out very good on this video. This is really more purple 
um, that it's showing and it, it's, I like purple. Um, I have a lot, in fact, I'm wearing purple and you can see I got glaze drips on me. Um, so this is, this top part is passion flower and this has inclusions, uh, which are little chunks of, now, I imagine dried up glazes or whatever. See those speckles? So those little speckles, when you apply this, you let you load them up with some of those speckles. You, you should always store ones that have the inclusion upside down so that all the little particles don't stay in the bottom. Okay, so there's that one. And then I put Nimbus right here. And then this is the river birch on the bottom. And I like that too came out good. Honey Flux, River Birch, Nimbus, and Passion Flower. And here's some more. Sometimes, you know, I, if it drips, I just let it drip. Now, these are runners, so you notice, I don't know if you notice, I've got them stilted like this just in case because I do not put, um, I do not I do not put um, kiln wash on my shelves because I want to be able to flip them back and forth. You put kiln wash on a shelf and that means you're only putting it in there for a glaze fire. Um, yeah, you can put it for a bisque fire, but those flakes are going to fall off onto your stuff and it's annoying. If you're careful, I mean, these shelves have been fired a bunch of times and I have never had any issues. And if you do have a little drip, I mean, you can just knock it off. It's not a big deal. Um, so this one has a little bit more green. It's real pretty. And I like the drips. And I'm glad it didn't they didn't run. Now I did these at cone five with a five minute hold. Um, now the, these glazes do go up to cone six and you can do that and you probably get a lot more running when that happens. Um, I like these are cone five, six glazes, so there's no reason why I have found that I can get the same results and even better if I just fire to, to um, cone five and then put a hold. Um, I wouldn't do any more than 10 minutes, uh, but my average is about five, uh, depending upon the glaze. I have some glazes that I make myself with raw chemicals and they do not like to hold because they will just slide right off the pot if, uh, if I put them on for any kind of hold, so. I just love these. Now these are going to have ceramic decals. It'll go through a third firing. The bisque fire was the first, the glaze fire is the second, and then the water slide decals, which are they're going to be horses, um, will go on and they'll sit and dry overnight and then I'll put them in the kiln again and they get fired to a lot lower temperature, 015, which is like around 14. 13 to 1400 degrees or so. I don't know, without looking at my chart, I have to check that, but not any higher. And um, and it's a quick fire, it's a fast fire, you don't hold it. Uh, you just go ahead and put that on there. And um, so you can put all kinds of designs. Now these pieces here, these, these little, oops, I dropped you, sorry. Um, these little pieces right here, these are just my clear glaze. Um, the design is Speedball Underglaze Royal Blue, and I've sponged around the top, just onto the bisque fire, and then I have dunked them into my own recipe of clear glaze. It's a very versatile glaze. It goes from cone four to cone 10. And um, so I've done these in different colors. I like the Speedball Underglazes. They, they do well, and um, my glazes don't run uh, when I, when I coat them with a clear, they don't drip or run or whatever. So anyhow, I'm gonna continue to unload this wonderful kiln. It's like Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this little short video. If you have any questions about the glazes or glazing, just uh, shoot me a line. Um, uh, you can go to my Facebook page, uh, Paw Print Pottery. Um, or my gallery page, the Little Red Barn Pottery and Art Gallery, and I'm located in Barnwell, South Carolina. I'll be glad to answer any questions you have.